Hello, I'm really excited to show you this video today on how you can take a photo and convert it into searchable text. So for example, let's say you have a JPEG of a paragraph of text and currently you can't select the text, you can't copy it, you can't paste it. I'm going to show you how to take that photo and convert it into a PDF where you'll be able to select, highlight, copy, paste, and search that document of text. I'm going to show you how to do this for free and very easily. I'm really excited to do this because somebody actually reached out to me and asked me how to do this and I did not know how to do it. And I figured it out and I'm just, like I said, really excited to show you how to do this. So what we need is a program that can do some optical character recognition. I won't get into details of what that is, but essentially Gmail can do it for free. Now, hold on, I know what you're thinking. Gmail, oh, I already have Yahoo or AOL or Hotmail. I don't want to have to make another email account. I have an email account. I don't want to switch, don't worry. It's free, it's quick, simple. We can create the account simply for this purpose. So here we go. We're, first thing that we'll do though is head over to Google. And I'll just search for some basic text that I can use as an example. I'll use this text here. I'll take a screenshot of that and I'll head over to Photoshop and I'll just paste that in there and I'll create a JPEG basically of just text. So here's that text. Whoop. Here's that text and I'll save that to my desktop as my, uh, sure, why not? Low quality. JPEG text uh, and I'll save that to my desktop and there we have it um, whoop what's going on so I have my JPEG here um, this is probably what you have it's not like the best quality or anything like that um, but and and so we can't really select or copy or paste any of this so let's head over to Google once again and let's type in gmail.com now, if you already have a Gmail account, go ahead and sign in. If not, click on this button, create an account. Like I said, it's free, easy, takes two seconds. We can use it simply for this purpose, and that's it. So I'll just sign in with my Gmail account, and that'll kick us into this screen here. You'll see something similar once you create your account. And we'll click on this button up here that says Drive. And that'll kick us into, like, our, our our online hard drive, if you will, through Gmail, which is great, and I won't even get into that. So once we're here, we can click on this button here that says Upload, and we can click on Files, and we'll select that JPEG that we want to convert. So I'll select it, click on Open, and you'll see that that'll begin the upload process. Here we have a little percentage meter. Once that finishes, it'll pop up in this list here. Oh, there it is right there. And I even made a typo. So what we'll do is, We'll right click on this and we'll click on open with Google Docs. And that'll kind of kick it into Google Docs. You can see this spinning wheels converting it. And that's really all you need to do. That's it. It'll give you a preview of your original JPEG image and below it is the text. So here we go. Lorium Ipsum is simply dummy text of the printing and typesetting industry. Boom. I don't think it gets any better than that. Um, I think those results are acceptable, especially seeing how we're doing this for free. We don't have to pay to have this done. Here's the kicker. Now let's save it as a PDF. We'll go to File, Download As, and we'll select PDF. But you can see that there are a number of different formats. Plain text, which is like Notepad, um, Rich Text, Microsoft Word, but we'll select PDF for this example. PDF, and that's it. You'll see here, it begins to download, and I can just drag that to my desktop, and there's my PDF, and I can open that up, and look at this. I can highlight, and I can copy and paste, and I can search. So, um, that's it. I mean, that's all you need to do. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. Let me know if it worked. I'd love to hear what happened. Also, let me know if it didn't work. Uh, I try to get back to people who have problems and at least point you in a direction that'll give you some sort of result. So, thanks for watching.